brought to you by Fanatically Correct and RamFam Collectibles. I'm Omega with Fanatically Correct, and uh, I have uh, a co-host today again. Co-host. We're going to be doing this a thing. Co-host now. Co-host. Co-host now. Because now we're named. Because now we're going to do a thing. Hence, right behind me, got a coffee station, so we're going to do this official intro, and then I'm going to start making coffee while we talk, and we do have a topic today. Uh, remind you, uh, I'm Omega with Fanatically Correct, Ken Anthony, Ram Fam Collectibles. Yo. Uh, yo. And, uh, of course, check out our link tree, linktr.ee, at fan slash fan correct. FanaticCorrect.com will get you there, too. And, of course, RamFam Collectibles. Yeah, RamFamCollectibles.com. Free shipping over Boom. 99 worldwide. Same day, next day shipping. It's the Mr. Best. Worldwide. Darling. Mr. Worldwide. Now. What's up, RamFam fans? Gotta What's start. up, RamFam fans? I love it. I love it. So I'm going to start making the coffee and stuff, and we're going to press play back there because... They're not going to hear anything. I, I love it. We gave Yeah, they're not going to hear, but we're, so we have it for us as reference. Um, I gave Anthony a little homework assignment. The last oh, time we met on episode 30, zero. Mid, mid-30s and I have a homework assignment. <laughs> yeah, but he completed the homework I completed assignment. It. Actually, I you, went, you did extra credit. You did extra I credit. Needed. I only did the bare minimums. Yes. But, uh, I mean, I have it in my in my history already. I've done it, but uh, I definitely did a refresher. There was a lot I didn't remember and uh, how it all happened. This right there is the first thing we're going to start referencing. But we, uh, we're watching, we're going to review in this episode and let it go where it takes us uh, talking about things as well. Uh, but we're going to review the Spawn series. This is episode one yes. uh, that's on uh, HBO Max. Well, Max now. It's just Max. Yep. Uh, it's a series from the 90s, uh, animated. So, so I thought the ser- so I thought this was from like 2000, early 2000. It might be. This was it's either late 90s, 90s or early 2000s. Yeah, this okay. is like 2003, but Spawn came about in the late, mid-90s by Todd McFarlane. And if you watch this, I would highly recommend it. This thing is gruesome and it's, it's raw. Um, yes. I, at first, like the first 30 seconds in, I'm like, man, this reminds me of uh, Batman the Animated Series. So I was like, wow, this is really cool. And then, like, but it got real. I, I don't want to spoil it. It, but got, it gets really rated bit. R real quick. <laughs> then, like, right away, like, four people get brutally murdered. Um, so, yeah, and, and, and when we're watching it, they have this, like, cool, it reminds me of, not Goosebumps, but there was this old skeleton. I'm going to tell you now, this right now, uh, Tales from the Crypt. That's what. It is Max. So HBO did Tales from the Crypt. So it was HBO. At the time, this was HBO. And, uh, of course, yeah, they're doing that Tales from the Crypt intro, which still comes from the Twilight Zone, uh-huh. Alfred Hitchcock, that bring out the host and creator mm-hmm. out first. To Sets say like a tone. A few things. Yeah, exactly. And that's, that's what he does. He's like, hey, turn off the light. Like, he talks about Spawn and, like, the paths, uh, you know, the things that he has to cross. But what's really cool is, like, how Todd, like, sets the tone. He's like, hey, turn off your lights. And just by saying that, it prompted me turn off to actually lights. watch. Like, yeah, I should turn off. Yeah, because it's dark animation, so it does come out better. But yeah, it off, looks yeah. it looks Hands really down. good. He did a great job, uh, and he looks really young, yes. super young. Well, that's what's funny. Right at the gate is like, and you're also like the way he talks. Even like he's a much younger, mm-hmm. uh, and not as confident. Obviously, yeah, he hasn't been around almost, as long almost amateurish. Anything. Yes, but but not in a in a in a negative. No, way. not in a negative way. Just uh, obviously, he's just not seasoned. He's not. Yeah. You know, this is like his first big breakout. You know. Taking lead on the camera. I know. didn't understand this. This nine 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 nine. I don't know. They okay. referenced it in later. I know. Uh-huh. Excuse me. We'll talk about it. But I have to do I, with some timing. It, was, yeah, it so. had to do. I think I had to do like portal or teleporting uh, or something. I don't. I don't remember. I don't know a ton about Spawn, um, but this definitely hooked me because it is gruesome. It's dark and it just throws you in. Yeah. Like you're just. It's not like uh, like if you watch Batman. It's yes. not just oh I'm Batman like yeah like. You well, saw Batman's origin story, like when he was a kid. You learned, yeah. like, this one's like, yo, I'm just Spawn. I just murdered all these yeah. people. Well, and I, now I, I remember. Have to I think out. Batman kind of did it the same way the animated series. Other words, like you're right. Like a lot of other ways that they introduced Batman. But I remember the animated series similar. Like I think it was the first episode was like a Penguin mm. episode, mm. and they kind of did the same thing. He was already Batman, and then they started getting everything through flashbacks, right? As to how he ended up there. Now. From what I'm gathering, so we're just talking about episode one, so you already have a better idea because you already went two and three, and I don't remember how it played out, but by, by just seeing episode one so far as a refresher, they didn't give us everything yet. No. So it you looks like, like I, I believe all of season one is back. In other words, it's him going through this while you're getting the backstories right. how he's ended up here. And this is not much of a spoiler, but it starts five years in. 
Yeah, yeah. So it's been five years since. I mean, this is big sport. You shouldn't be watching the Spawn animated series if you ha- never know anything about the comic books or yeah. the, the movie that they did uh, in the in the in the two thousands as well. Um, which is the character is a Hell Spawn. Yeah, this I is did sick. not understand this for the like the first time I was watching it. Uh, this yeah. guy's on his knees and he's just absolutely fucking terrified. Yep. And then all of a sudden, oh, that, that's why. And that this this exact moment was when I was like, oh, this isn't Batman. Yeah. Oh yeah. No. 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 no, no. And then insane. and then there's other scenes later. I'm like, oh, okay. Like yeah, dude, this is <laughs> you wild. cannot have kids in the room. Like yeah, this is wild. This, I like, mean, even in animation, Max is like, yeah, let's show this stuff, dude. For, <laughs> hang on, let me look at this. First uh, five minutes in, this dude's got a shotgun to his skull. And yep. He's begging for his fucking life, and yep. then it it goes off. And then Spawn shows up and does all kinds of vicious mayhem. So. Uh, I, I'm a huge Venom fan, but I assume Spawn is the anti-hero in yeah. the DC multi. Uh, well, in the, the image, universe. in the image. Well, he started Image. No, Spawn is Image. He has nothing, has nothing, to, nothing do, to do with DC. Nothing to do with DC. Nothing to do with Marvel. Now, the only crossover. Yeah, I know Marvel. They've done crossovers, so they had uh, a Batman okay. crossover. Uh, I don't know if they've done any Marvel crossovers. They usually do DC crossovers. So who's Image? Who's in that? Image. So McFarlane. That's their. Um, okay, so this is not. Now we're talking comics. Because um, you know McFarlane's stronger from the collectibles. And comics, you know what I mean? Yeah. And the McFarlane and the collectibles, and of course the McFarlane action figures. Mm-hmm. We talked about it in, in episode zero about that. But in the comic world, um, Image is kind of a huge thing because what that is, it's it's like a profit sharing. So every. Yeah, McFarlane like, kind of broke the mold with all that and started bringing in, like him, people who were writers and comic book artists for Marvel, for DC, that, you know, weren't getting paid yeah, yeah, what yeah. they would like to get paid sure. um, for their creativity. And, of course, we're held back and had to follow rules on, like, what you can write, what you can draw, how you can do it. But their style, you know, him and I think like Jim Lee and all these different people who got it during that era – um, like the prints and the drawings and the artwork, and, and they had to start using the plastic paper, which yeah, changed yeah. comic books forever. It just makes them so much better. Yep. Um, and then Image is, I think, like just a few other. I'm not a big reader, especially lately of comic books, so I'm gonna get corrected like crazy on this. But um, what I do know is that is like all the artists they get. Like, they give a certain amount of the proceeds goes back in-house. Oh, right. Um, to go towards the printing and all that. Nice. But there are an owner. Yeah, yeah. Of their, I got a lot of, of skin in the stuff. game. Yeah, a lot nice. of skin in the game. They get the majority of their Good profits time. from their stuff. So it is kind of a shared universe, but it doesn't have to be. So, uh, you know, it, it all depends on his. So it's an independent. Yeah. Know? So they've done crossovers because, of course, they'll come to agreement. Like Marvel and DC have done right, crossovers. Right, right, right. So it, it can happen. Dude, this is just totally Dude, uh, so <laughs> first, first three people to die, one guy gets shot from behind knowing that he's going to die. And that's so, the guy with spoiler. the scary face. Yes, <laughs> spoiler, the second spoiler. guy gets a shotgun to the skull and is held there for like a good 10 seconds having a conversation before they blow his skull off. Yeah. And then the last guy that's shot in the calf because he started to run, he gets doused and gassed. Gasoline before Spawn yeah. eventually makes his entrance, and then I don't want to. And then, and then that idiot. I mean, that, and this is like this is the, the anti-hero thing. There's things that happen where Spawn's being a good guy, but if you don't mess up, <laughs> up, I'm gonna go with the I'm gonna go with the Fafo. Fuck around, find out. Exactly. <laughs> and that's what happens to Spawn. It's like I was here to save you, but you're gonna fuck around. You'll find out. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah, I mean? yeah. <laughs> it's, like, it's like I don't have to commit to saving you. I just say, <laughs> you know, I'm more committed to the violence, but. As you start to see the story unfold of yeah. what Spawn is, of course, it makes sense. That he's hell so so he, he's not the Spawn. He's a, a Spawn. spawn. So it's it. almost like the Mask of Zorro, uh, Phantom. Huh. You know, Phantom Twenty Twenty Nine. Yep, yep, yep. Phantom. Uh, it's a it's a passed down thing. He's like a lieutenant or higher. I'm up. gonna tell you really, and then you see it. You, you know who McFarlane's influences are? Obviously, Spider Man. Uh, obviously, Batman with the whole mm-hmm. cape and all that, um, and Deadpool and, and, and Spider Man with the mask and all that, and and, and, whatever, and obviously Ghost Rider because mm. this is a very Ghost Rider like story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of Makes a deal with the devil, making a deal with the devil, and and then they've played with that where there's been multiple Ghost Riders. Right. So same oh, right, thing. right, right, right. So each Hell Spawn will have a mission, and usually, remember, it's about a war between heaven and hell. Yeah. So you know there'll be archangels and stuff like that, yeah. and usually a Hell Spawn gets killed by an archangel or whatever happens, and then. Vacancy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Spawn. I need a new guy. Yeah. Um, is Todd McFarlane a religious dude? I don't know. I don't know. I mean, Pro- there's not a lot grew of up. no, but he, you know, most likely he grew up. This, like, it's like the show Supernatural and things like yeah. that. Obviously, the writers, the creators, and I would say him too. Probably grew up somewhat Catholic. Um, and the reason I say Catholic is it's, it's, he's heavy in the yeah. angels and the and the, yep. and the and the saints and, and that type of stuff. Uh, but some form of Christianity, or you know what I mean. But this dude, the verminator, dude. I'm sorry, I didn't like. Yeah, I dude, and and it should be like, 
they play with it okay with John Leguizamo in the movie. Uh, I, I, so that was but, my first introduction. Yeah. So I actually, I, I take that back. When I was a this kid, is a whole another. Yeah, when I was a kid, I, I did. My dad bought me like a Spawn comic, uh, like a Spider Man comic, you know, whatever random comics. So like, I had them around the house. I didn't really like get into them. If anything, I liked looking at the pictures more than I looked liked reading them. But I was very unappreciative of the art. Um, but I remember him because I saw the one from the 90s with John Leguizamo yeah. and then, I, I don't know the other actor's name. But I liked that movie. It was, you know, giving it time, I, I thought it was cool. That's what it is. For, for when it was and yeah. what was available to you. Yeah, and I, I like definitely don't actor. remember it right yeah. now. But I will say, uh, this guy, so far in the last couple episodes that I've seen him, what a douchebag. And I love it. He's such an I mean, asshole. he is a demon, so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> like. So there's one scene, I don't give a shit, I'm spoiling it, but there's one scene he's looking at, uh, I think his name's Al, right? Oh, the detective? No. The oh, him, yeah, 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 yeah. His Al. name's Al. I believe so, yeah. So he's like, hey, you came back here because you wanted to go see your wife. So he looks at a picture of his wife and he puts oh, his yeah, hands in like, his Yeah, dude. <laughs> yeah, so vulgar, bro, vicious. And then, and then when Spawn's like, yo, you better stop that or I'm going to make your ass yeah. into your face <laughs> or whatever, he goes, yeah, 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 my bad, man, and then grabs his game. Yeah, and wipes <laughs> on it. Game, it's the like, most vulgar character ever, that's man. amazing. No, and I will tell you, I mean, obviously, you know, so no kids in the room for this episode <laughs> <laughs> of the show for what we're talking about with Spawn. But, yeah, Spawn's a hard R, you know what I mean, uh, comic series. and um, Yeah, dude, probably don't introduce this to your, like, young, young no, son. No, 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 no. I mean, I, I, I'm, I remember I was, like, late teens when I started watching this, but, yeah, definitely not a... Uh, Early tweens, even like yeah, you know, yeah, this is dark. And unfortunately, it is like that the character of Spawn because I remember that was a thing. Like I got to the, you know, obviously before the show, and I got into the comic books quick because the artwork, yeah, yeah. was amazing. Touch and uh, I'll be honest, I mean that was back in the day where it was just the mom and pop comic book mm-hmm. shops. You know, it wasn't you know some shops were big or whatever, but not like now. Where it's just so much because of collectible. Yeah, yeah. You have places like Tate's and you have places like Nowhere Comics and yeah, all yeah. these big like huge spots and up like Acme Superstore and Super Anime Store and like it's just a huge community now. Back then it was just kind of like the and which we still have a bunch of those too, but it's like just comic books. Yeah, just the one guy there all day. R- yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, and, and you go and you talk to him, you let you know. And there wasn't a high responsibility of what a, what age appropriate comic book purchasing yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And yeah. we were walking, you know, buying and walking out with Spawn comic books, and we shouldn't have been because well, yeah, when you get in the animated series, you get in the comic books as well. So I mean, but of course, at 13, 14, the oh fuck, boy, yeah. whatever, like right up my alley. You know what I mean? Just the violence and the whatever. Like you just like it, it was really up there. It's um kind of like when Grand Theft Auto came out, man. Yeah. I couldn't. I'm. I can't run people over. I'd like to, <laughs> but I can't. But you can't. <laughs> but I can. Bottle. Yeah, I can pick up a whore and run over a group of people. <laughs> Dude, I still play that GTA Five. Do you really? Of course. Yeah, I log in like once a week for like at least a half hour um, just to relieve stress. I had. <laughs> should probably see a therapist. I'm gonna tell you right now. So I, I'm, I'm gonna throw one out there, and, and you'll laugh. One of my one of the things I do. Hopefully, it doesn't get used in court recording into one thing. <laughs> No, I've been through uh, depositions. I, I, Grand Theft, I, I know. I call. <laughs> and Grand Theft Auto is, uh, dude, especially in the 954, a certain weekends, we get the bicyclists are aggravating. Oh, my God. And I'm sorry if I lose you as a fan, but the bicyclists are a nightmare. And, and you know why? Because they take the lights. and, they, and I, I don't There's think like a million of them. I don't think it's right that, you know, for and that sadly there are hit and run situations. Yeah. And, but sadly, sometimes it's their fault. Um, you know, that doesn't mean they deserve it, but it just it happens. Right. They take a light. because they, they think they can do that. They can take lights and not all of them. There's a lot of responsible ones. Right. And the more responsible ones will go on trails, you know, on yeah. tracks like that. But you just have the specific douchebag bicyclist that that's why he does it and he puts it like on the the lowest like the highest speed so he's just going yeah. nowhere moving his feet 100 miles per hour just blocking traffic yep. and then like just taking the light or just getting in the lane or, and I, and, I, and after I have a day of that GTA I'm like with the bicycle class yeah. <laughs> <laughs> with a bicycle that and it sucks because they don't really have like inner city like bicycling like yeah, we yeah, have yeah, like city. Yeah, yeah. so you got to go out to like so like i am like running over the guy here. that doesn't oh deserve it <laughs> like this guy just like left his house like he's got a newborn but if i'm baby, on the express he's off the side of the road i'm like yeah. yes <laughs> the worst are the ones that um that are on their dirt bikes or motorcycles they'll pop a uh, a wheelie but then they'll go in traffic that's going against so yeah. they'll, they'll go on the wrong side. Well, that's of motorcycle. Traffic. I'm talking about bicycles. No, no, no I, you're talking about motorcycle. Bi- I'm talking about too? dirt bikes. Oh, dirt bikes. Dirt yeah. bikes. And they'll do, and they'll just, just yeah. cut, like the dodging wheel. cars. And it's like, dude, I don't know what to do. Do I dodge or you dodge? Because yeah. if you dodge left and I dodge, yeah, if you zig when I zag, dude, it's yeah. it ain't good. Like, it, why put me in that circumstance? Yeah, but thankfully, there's people like Spawn. There is Bullock, dude. Or that a guy, bullet? Or is it Bullet or Bullock? 
Uh, I think in Batman. Bullock. Oh, in but the Batman, his name is Bullock. I don't know what his you're name is. It. I don't you're, remember you're now. Gonna, gonna, but it's the what you're saying, the generic. <laughs> well, dude, this is the guy that's been on the force for like 30 years. He has. So I noticed every time he comes to a crime scene, he lights a cigarette right there. Yep. He's got his like number two. That's actually like the rational thinker that does like all the work. He's just like putting the big pieces. Like he's got gray hair. He's fat. His face is all mushed up. He's like, I want to eat donuts. He's in, he's like <laughs> destroying the crime scene. Like he's stepping in blood and like smearing stuff, dropping donuts on people's face. Like he's just like this old battered yeah. cop. We that's always just like, dude, you should retire. We always joke about that. Hold on, sorry. Here. Like the first Yeah, I mean, I oh, you catch it with a spoon? Yeah, that's what you poke your shoulder with, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have the frother and. Um, and I pour it in. I pour in like the first couple of uh, couple of nuts that get busted. I don't see anything wrong with you dying. Okay, <laughs> five years later. Okay, I die. Right? Uh-huh. I'm Spawn. I'm Al. Yeah. I die. Five years later, I come back. I'm not gonna be upset if my best friend is now. With my wife. Best friend. I mean, who would I rather her be with? Some fucking nobody. Die reason? faithful. That's well, <laughs> she's, I, I guess evidently she's always wanted kids. I mean, she's happy now, right? Like, well, I, I died. Like, it wasn't, it was, this so isn't you never a conspiracy. Read, you never read Spawn the comic books. You only saw the show. I mean, the movie. I mean, this. So you know this what's up, you know what's up in the movie with the, with the, the kid. Spoiler alerts. Yeah, I don't remember. How old does that kid look, man? She's like five, four. Dude, Five. it happened shortly after he died. But exactly, that's his kid. No, it's not his kid. That's his kid. He couldn't have kids. They even reference it. Oh. He says, "No, I couldn't have kids." She, you know, she didn't want to adopt. She wanted to have her oh. own kids. It's my so fault. It's all about her. So, so my thought is, I mean, shortly after he died, which uh, potentially because I haven't gotten that part, was very like gross. Spread out sprinklers or something. <laughs> Just blow. AV club, take care of your stuff. Well, he has a tea station, so we're good. Oh, that's a no, good point. No. Yeah. <laughs> um, there's a fire extinguisher right there. Anyways, so he dies. Uh, I guess what had happened yeah. was his, you know, he went to go console her. They probably knew each other for years. Yeah. Anyway, and I'm completely Well, yeah, they're, they're going to get into it. They're going to get into it in the show. It's just one of those things. Like, hey, five years, is it? Dude, that's a is long it, it's fucking it's a long time. time. I spent time. four years in the Marine you get, Corps. You need to understand him, though. It's, remember, he went. He doesn't know. This is like For day him, one. it's not five years. For this him, it's day one. Exactly. Yeah. For him, it's like yesterday. Yeah. You yeah. know what I mean? For him, it's like yesterday. So it's but like he memory. knows in this instance, he knows it's been five yeah. years. Yeah. Well, he yeah, just doesn't he's, understand he's, what's well, going he does, on. Well, he's telling him now. That's why the Verminator is He's giving him like him. shit pie. Water. Yeah, dude. It's, yeah, bro. They're demons, man. They're going to be heinous. See, now that's the funny thing, too. Like in the movie, they made the character a kid, but like that that um, homeless guy that was like befriending mm-hmm, him earlier, mm-hmm. that's, that, that's the, that character that the kid plays in oh, the movie. Oh, they, they made that into a kid? Yeah, I don't know why they did that. Um, you know what I mean? They, they, it should have been the old. I like this old guy, the older guy that's helping. I, they did it because that's the thing. Remember, the movie is PG 13. Oh, yeah, that's why then. This animated series are. <laughs> and, and I think that because it's a max, I almost feel like I got to go over the comic books again because I, I feel like this animated series might be. More hardcore than the comics. Oh, maybe because I think that on the comic books he probably, even though he had control and it's his own comic book company, I think because he knew what hands it could end up in. I'm gonna Google you know? something. Yeah, check it out. Because I'm because I, I think I, I think there might be a little it might be a little bit more hardcore in Max since he knew it was a late night R adult premium series that he knew his audience was for sure just gonna be adults. He didn't have to risk it. I'm willing to bet yes, and here's why. Okay. When I was younger, you had to buy HBO. It was an extra yeah, it was on a premium your channel cabin, mm-hmm. on your cable package, right? Yeah. Okay. So you buy HBO, right? What else can you watch on there? Oh yeah, exactly. Watch all the dirty yeah, stuff. Yeah, skinny Max. Dude, yeah. skinny Bunny Max. House? Not Max Skinny Max. Yeah. Do you remember Bunny House? Yes. Yes. What an amazing yeah. and what was it, Kendra, piece Kendra Kendra of cinematic yeah. masterpiece of porn. <laughs> Dude, this is this th- that that place was like in Arizona or something. I yeah. forget where wherever prostitution or whatever. Oh, Bunny Lupo. Ranch. Bunny Ranch. Yeah, it was Bunny called Ranch. Bunny House. Okay, but yes, it was on the Bunny Ranch. Because yeah, there was also that, that one where Hugh Hefner was alive, where he had the three girlfriends, or whatever. But that was like an E or that one of was those. different. Yeah. Bunny House is. But yeah, Max had a lot of crazy this. stuff, dude. Imagine that. No HBO, not Max. Sorry, HBO. Imagine HBO this. had what like t- night and uh, Taxi Cab Confession. Yes, Taxi Cab yeah. Confession. Dude. The, 
That's okay. what I'm saying. So they knew what they could get away with. I really want you to think about this. Not that you and I would do this, but imagine yeah. you're this unhappy husband, all right, Definitely. working at the fucking stock market in New York, right? You fucking so that's an episode. You fly, <laughs> you fly down to Arizona. Yeah. Okay, you get there and your buddy's you know giving you bumps of cocaine. He's like, hey, let's go to this fucking bunny ranch. And what, what's a bunny Speaking ranch? Of cocaine. Yeah. <laughs> what's the bunny ranch? And he tells you, oh, dude, it's a great place. You know, you walk in there, you go to the bar, you talk to these ladies, and then they take you in the back. Take your pick. You, you know, you swipe your Mastercard, your Amex, you put it on the on the company on the old stockbroker account, <laughs> yeah. and then you can you know have a great time. And then and then he finally convinces you begrudgingly. You go, your marriage isn't going well, and then the second you walk in, what do you see? A fucking camera. And you're like, shit. I'm done for anyways now. <laughs> so then they line them all <laughs> they line them all up and they're like, hey Jonathan, pats you on the back. Which one would you like? See, but then it, then it goes into you know, in those scenarios, how much of that might be fake? I'm willing to that bet. Might just be a single. If I Google it. Someone got fucked in the wrong way. Oh, for sure. House, I guarantee you. For sure. End up coughing up. There you go. So that's the uh, first. This is the first official. The first official. Yeah. Cafecito of. Let me lower this now a little bit. Comics of comics collectibles, collectibles and coffee. Hang on. Or cafecitos. Give a little comics cheer, collectibles and cafecitos. There we go. It's piping hot. So. I'm used to it. I specifically didn't make one today because I knew you were going to make some. Yeah, good that job. good, man? Okay, so now Spawn, off Bunny. Too sweet? Like, no, 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 You, you feel a foot coming off or we're good? Foot coming off? Yeah, like diabetics when you have to, like, <laughs> amputate Jesus, a foot. <laughs> Ram Fam Collectibles did not say that comment about diabetics. I'm just, I'm dying. Insult something that can happen when you're diabetic, so it's actually if you're diabetic. You That's make a good sure point. You check your sugar. Actually, I think, oh, we'll do that one episode one day. Check our sugar? I'll bring <laughs> the glucose. Oh, let's check it before bring, and after. Yeah, before and after. <laughs> Do you have a glucose thingy? Yeah, I got. It's always good to have one in the house in case my, you never know when someone's sugar. I have diabetics I have in my family. Never heard stuff. of that before my life. Yeah. Okay, well that's probably why. Well, my, it's like a blood pressure machine or an oxidometer. Never. You need to upgrade your, my your dad first aid kit, man. Had a um, <laughs> had one of those. It's just oh, like, good. I was gonna say pause it. <laughs> click a, Did you pause it? Did it freeze? No. No, he's talking to him. Oh, that's why we don't hear because it it's like a telepathic <laughs> conversation. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a telepathic yeah. conversation. Um, so he, you know, you, you prick your finger and then yeah, you, that's the glucose, poop yeah. it out for sure. And he did that, and I was, and this was like 15 years ago, and I wonder why I did it. And I, and his aunt, my great aunt, was was a diabetic, and that's when I first realized it. And he was, was like, Yeah, I always have it in case I'm with her. Well, it's, it's for it. the other way, too, because sometimes, like, especially now, a lot of people, like, awesome. that's something I'm looking into, too, like uh, intermittent fasting, yeah, which is becoming a very common lifestyle because it actually is healthy when you do it right, and a lot of people are getting great results mm-hmm. from stuff like that, but. Things you want to check is they have like a thing to check your ketones, which is basically how your body breaks down sugar. So you also do a glucose because yeah. you also want to make sure your sugar is not too low. Because you have some people that they don't feel well, like faint, and it could just be that and have a soda I, and relax. My wife and I, uh, my wife like taught me about hangry. Uh-huh. And like if you don't eat, you get upset. And like those one day. You mean she I, just helped you identify what you were having? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah <laughs> what, what emotional roller coaster I was going through. Maybe this is frozen. I think it did freeze. Did you pause it? I, I skipped 10 seconds. It might have been the, the maybe the Wi Fi. The Wi Fi is feeling there. Rough. You go. There you go. Um, I don't know what I was saying about your oh, wife about hangry. hangry. Yeah, yeah. So like one day, like uh, I think I was telling you this last time, but there was a bunch of plates and stuff in the way on, the, on our island. I couldn't sit down and eat. And yeah. Like before I knew it, it was like three o'clock, and eventually I had like a toaster strudel or something, and I mm-hmm. ate something else, and then like eventually I went up to her and I was like, "Hey, my bad." <laughs> yeah, it turns out I was just hungry. I had like Snickers. three bananas. Yeah, yeah like so I had a couple bananas, some some strudels and shit. You're basically you're Denzel on training day. And yeah, 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 yeah. Like, oh God, King Kong had nothing yeah. to be in this kitchen. <laughs> Except he had a worse fate yeah, than I yeah, did. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of fates, uh, isn't it crazy that this scene? He was so this scene's Bunny Ranch right now. So yeah, there's 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 those type of someone's scenes. getting fucked. You no, know, the, the background, the guy. Watch, I'll show him now. The guy's like, uh, it's like the Sopranos. Oh, oh, oh this yeah, yeah, this Sopranos. is the big guy. Yeah, this, this is the big so guy. This anime series before Sopranos. Oh, so the no big shit. heavy guy that they're going to show now. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Again, I'm only episode one or two ahead of me. But yeah, they're right there. Look at that. This is a giant <laughs> this is Stuff's happening. So, so but Sopranos you do it all the time because the bada bing. You know, he's yeah, 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 always. No, this stuff's happening definitely in the Soprano background. Material, yeah. Yeah, stuff happening in the background, but this is not in the background. My wife they're like was centering. Like, what are you watching? <laughs> my wife was walking by when we were watching. She's like, what is this? So, and I was like, this so is my, 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 my embarrassing homework. moment was I again, like I said, I hadn't done my homework. So uh, last night, because uh, my folks are <laughs> over after having a, a, a dinner with the with the you know for my wife's stepdad for his birthday, I'm like, oh, I got to do my homework, and so I forgot 
that there are scenes like this in this. So I'm oh, watching yeah. that. Like, like watching Game of Thrones with your parents is Sorry. weird. Man. I've never seen. I'm Game an of adult. They're adults, but the same things like that. Like, like you know, one day your kids are gonna be adults. You're not gonna want to watch this with them, even though they're no, adults. Like, I'm not sitting in the room with you. So it's like, ah. Uh, I want to see her titties. Yeah, and then I don't want and, you and, to and, see and, me see her titties. Exactly. And again, <laughs> and, and the thing is. And it's that it's like like how long is this scene like you want to make yeah, the over yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, and like, how many like, times you're not show listening this? to what the guy's saying you're just like oh yeah fucking titties yeah exactly. well at that 13 14 year old boy yeah. you know what I mean that's what I'm saying it's like you gotta gotta monitor you know yeah, you yeah, let yeah. watch this this guy is really cool. I, I I like him his his whole no like, the dialogue is great in this this man. guy too yeah I really like him he's he's he called in an assassin yep and he goes by the time I hang up this phone he better be over the Atlantic I'm like. Whoa. Don't mess around. No, this it's the dialogue, and this around, is great. Dude. Yeah, you know what it is? It's that. It's that era. It's the Goodfellas, Casino. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, era of like heat, of like mob movies. He yeah. exactly. Like so, it, it it was the era with that style of um of crime, you know, verbiage and and, and dialogue, um, getting That's away from. Yeah, you know it. Every day, baby. I'm sipping it, dude. I'm telling you, we're doing the glucose. <laughs> We should do that next we time. We should do it next time. <laughs> we'll do it. Make it the glucose test <laughs> Yeah, and this guy's like, so the senators, dude, this show is wild. Like, when you really, like, I kind of liked it. I, I didn't think I would like it as much, but I, I, I knew it was good. I knew you would. You, this, you, you, you were excited to reference if you jump to this episode before you saw episode zero of what we're doing here. Um, that's a long episode. Yeah. I mean, I'm just going to. Yeah, we're going to break it up. We're going to break it up. We're going to go part one, part two, part three. I think that's yours. No, that's yours. I filled yours higher. Yeah, uh, I promise. I, I don't pulled give it. Shit. I pulled no, no. It's yours. I pulled yours closer. I didn't want as much. I had coffee this morning. I no, didn't. no. I I that's why. <laughs> that's why I'm yours, and I didn't leave most of it for you. <laughs> that's why I'm sipping accordingly. I'm just going for it. It's not as hot. Um, I had a actually, in France, I had a macchiato because I went to um, uh, not Argentinian. I went to uh, a Venezuelan place. Best. So they don't do like corteritos, but it's the same thing. A macchiato, same thing. It's mi- chorizo. It's milk with the uh, not chorizo. They do they, yeah, but they also do tequeños there. Oh, but they beautiful. do like small. Jeez, the ones. place I go to, they, I'll give them a shot. I don't care. They ain't paying me, but I, I love them anyways. <laughs> out in West and Gourmet Cafe. Gourmet Cafe. Yeah, dude, they're awesome, dude. And they're actually in the Bay Area. So oh, like, nice. They don't have like an open like, shopping yeah. complex, but they make great stuff. They do like um, the arepas mm. with like, like, with, like avocado. Stuffed it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Stuff. Dude, like, it's like, a, like ends up being like this tall. It's like a like, uh, gyro. Uh, yeah, every a, scene, Simpsons. Giro, Remember gyro? the Simpsons when Homer was trying to lose weight and Marge puts them like on rice cakes? And she goes, it's zero calories. You can put a couple of things on it. Dude, they show him it's like bacon, ham, like the the, 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 the rice cake. And, like, and he's sitting outside the market like only two hundred calories. He's like, yeah, it ain't two hundred calories. A really no good barge, by the way. It's great, dude. Like, you're like, Woo-hoo! But uh, and that's what it is. They stuff it so much, yeah, and their names so are good. like the Mad Wolf, like all these. Great it's just names. like an open faced empanada. So they do these tequeños instead of just the one long mm-hmm. tequeño. It's like a bunch of little shorter ones, and they give you like a cilantro sauce oh, shit. and a thing. Like, oh, dude, so good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna. I'm going to talk Nine to Josie fast for home, a and I'm week. just going to pick up some Venezuelan <laughs> there food There you go. There's a great place. I, I go to the Dollar General because I buy tape from there because mm-hmm. um, I, I need tape when I do my whatever bullshit. Yeah. Anyways, um, and right next to it is a Venezuelan place. Oh, I love it. They had a fucking, what is it? It's a guava donut. Oh, I, dude, it was just sitting out. This made it fresh, Temptation. full of sugar. You know that really fine sugar right up? Dude, I picked it up. I was like, I don't care how much this is, but I want it. And I was eating it while I was ordering Com- my other shit. Comics, <laughs> collectibles, and comida. Comida. <laughs> yeah, that's comida. a good one. <laughs> we always change the last C. We'll yeah, yeah, always yeah. make it work. It just depends what we're doing that with day. the cocktail, with comida. Now, but verminated, dude. What's really cool about this, too. And Wait, this is episode I'll two now, this. right? No, this is episode one still. Oh, this is on. episode one. Yes, they're wrapping up episode one. That's right. So this is a good time. All right, so what's wild about this is that you find out, I mean, there's a huge universe here, yeah. <laughs> but they have... A senator that's being influenced yeah. negatively by this big bad mob yeah, guy. Demon, yeah. Uh, I'm gonna pop. I'm, I'm gonna. I'm not gonna start it. I'm just gonna let it go. And then yeah. Start. Okay. Um. So you have this big bad guy who has dirt on the senator, yeah. and the senator's son, the senator's son, picks up little girls and boys. Yes. Either rapes them and murders them, yes. or just murders them. And he yes. and you see, there's a, a scene. I think yeah. it's this I think, episode. I think, I think, yeah, I think that this, this is all resolved. Uh, season one. It's like so. I think they go. Like, oh, and he's like yeah. protecting him. He's like, no, 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 that's my boy. I'm not gonna let anything happen. Like, dude, you're a parent, and you fucking know that your son's doing this, and you had to turn to this mob guy. And the mob guy's like, anyone that even hints at it, evil police, law evil. enforcement, anybody. That's what the show's about. Evil. We just fucking destroy. It's about, it's about evil. I mean, Unreal. That's incredible. And I mean, it, it's funny because he's an anti-hero, but you look at it, he was an assassin for 
The government. The American government. Yeah. So you would think, well, especially, you know, especially in the late 90s, 2000s, you know, we're the good guys, you know, for the most part. Right. Now it's the common thing that we're the bad guys. Right. But at that time, it's like, America, we're always the good guys right. in every movie and everything. And they're already showing the concept that, yeah, he worked for the American government because he was an assassin. Mm-hmm. Evil. Yeah. Still evil. You murdered people. Didn't matter if they were bad people. Good. You murdered people. Right. You go to hell. And then from there becomes a hell spawn. So the saying is like it's like that's what the, the personifying is heavily into the theme of evil. And then they go into what's actually good. And 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 it's like you said, that's what you see. Like the best friend wasn't in wasn't in that degree of the agency, I believe. Yeah. Um. And that's why. And, and he's a good person. And I mean, they, and they get into that. But that's what's incredible about it. It's like it's like as we go we go through the series and we're gonna be talking about it. There's redeeming factors and there's retribution, but only to a certain extent. Right. Because no matter what, he still has to do his time. You and, know. And I like how Todd uh, Todd forecasted this whole thing. He's like, "Hey, man, you're not always all good and you're not always all bad. Like even the good people have a little bit of bad, and even the bad, bad people, people have, have a little, little bit of good. good. Um, but what matters is like you know what you're doing in general." And I think Spawn's a really good example. It seems like from these episodes, it seems like he wants to do good. Um, not like specifically, but like he helps these. He helped that. that, yeah. that uh, I think, and that's what it journalist. is. Yeah, there's, the there's, there's something, there's something like because his, and that's what it becomes about. And I think the path and the journey, if I remember right, and obviously if you go episode to episode, um, and you know, get together for this to talk about these when we do some episodes specifically for that, uh, for Spawn. Um, I think the level of journey is that is that it becomes and we get a deep. And that's the point of a deep dive. And it's an older show. A lot of people don't watch it, so hopefully, go watch start it. watching it. HBO Max, you know I mean? baby. Yeah, if, if, Thirty day free trial. We're not that's fully we spoiled yet. And this we can watch. <laughs> is we're gonna get deeper and more spoiling as we go. And this we you could take this journey with us. And I think there's a lot of people from when this show has arrived that haven't seen this. Yeah. And I think no matter what, it's a, it's a great. Uh, a piece of artwork it's a great piece of entertainment uh, and drama um, and we could dive deep and, and, and that's one of the things I'm going to see that his journey is going to elevate that he wants to be good for, for her yeah for yeah, his yeah, wife yeah. for the wife yep. for the reason he came back for the reason yep. he sold his soul and he sold his soul and that's where it becomes this individual thing is like you shouldn't sell your soul for someone no matter who it is because that's it's a unique and important thing and the journey is he no longer is good for her, it's about being good for him. Yeah. Like being good to be good. Not because a specific person you want to be good right. for or someone you're trying to impress. Like to be good for the sake of being good. Yeah. And that's the journey that he has to make because she's the trigger. She's what ignites it right. for him. But that's what it is. There's, there's, he's gotten so, and that's what it's saying. Like, that's why I like how it starts. Like you said, the first good deed he does that they show us in the show is in the alley. He's lost and basically in the alley. Right. And he's helping a guy and, you know, it ends up not going well. Um, <laughs> oh, by the way, but, that guy uh, sets himself on I fire. Know, exactly. Well, and because <laughs> Fafo, man, fuck around, find out. He's yeah. like, I'm going to let you burn. Like, I really thought, I forgot. I was like, doesn't he put him out? I'm like, I guess I remember something different. I got, I had a mock of, uh, 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 what, what's it called? The Mandela effect. Uh, uh, that, like I remembered something different than what happened. Like right. I could have sworn he put him out with his cape. You know what I mean? Like not even close, but he just not, like, <laughs> he's sucks. not there yet. Yeah. But something in him intrigued him to help that person at that moment. Good. And there was a little bit of good that triggered. Um, and I think is that because now he's gone so dark. It's almost like when you hit bottom. Yeah, you know what I mean? Like for alcoholics, things like that. Talk yeah, about yeah. the hit bottom. That now he's gone so dark. And now he is seeking the light. Yeah. I mean, well, he was able to justify it. You no, know, he's married to his wife. He had a good wife. He had a good family life, you know, with that and his marriage. And he had a good home. So when he went out and did the murders as an assassin, basically, he justified it as, well, I'm, I'm, protecting I'm them. doing it for the better good. Yeah. And I'm protecting her. And, you know what I mean? And, and, and his killing and murder aren't the same thing. You know what I mean? And they get into that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that's why I like that. Because oh, you, okay, I get no. worried at first at the stance they take. Because, like, oh, well, he was just a killer. No, no, no. He was a murderer. He, yeah. he didn't, there was... Certain circumstances are like, well, you killed that person to get to that. I'm like, that's not always okay. Right. You know what I mean? The, it, there's a very lot of scenarios. What is the saying? Like the, 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 ends, path, the, the, end. path to, the path to evil is uh, built on good intentions. That's a good one. Yeah, which is um, similar to that. But yeah, the ends the ends justify means the, the means. means. Yeah, the ends yeah. justify the means. And a lot of times that so is true. I, I killed that big... That big uh, <clears throat> Big yeah. head honcho yeah. that was, you know, had all his hands in these, but, like, dirty But it took him out to kill every maid in his kitchen. But I had to blow up a school. So yeah, like, exactly. Fuck, like, like, I don't know about that one. <laughs> there wasn't that. another way. <laughs> and that's what it is. And at the end of the day, you do the best you can, and then you find out, you know, in the end, you know, in, in this universe, you know, what what's going to happen. Yep. Fuck yeah. around. Find out. Find out. Fafo, that's a new one. <laughs> so we had, we had, we had, you know, for the book or the fuck, but now. Love it. Fafo. 
Awesome. All right. Well, this is the first episode. Uh, HBO. Oh, I'm sorry. Now it's called Max, Max. Um, Spawn but, or HBO Spawn. Episode one is just Spawn. Yeah, 24, 25 minutes. This is this yeah. Is it's not. Really yeah, they're under under, under like half graphics. hour an episode. Three seasons, six episodes Dude, a season. This is gonna episodes. be an easy binge. It's gonna yeah, be, it's gonna be fun, and it's something we're gonna do. Uh, Any superhero fanatic will love. I know. This. I love it. I love it. I love it. I'm, I'm actually. I'm glad that that happened. That you yeah. hadn't seen it because I'm getting to rewatch it. I'm getting to relive. Yeah, it's it. good. And I'll tell you, I'll give you more homework because, like I said, and check out fanatically correct. We have necessities on every episode, and that there's a lot of that. We have like shows like Misfits mm-hmm. and things like that, and we'll give a brief description and just end on the necessity. So, but. That was it. So that's yeah. So sponsor. So I'm glad I had the opportunity and that we're going to do this because yeah. it's fun to deep dive on that and you know follow those episodes. All the new stuff that's out right now. Right. You know what I mean, like ton of shit. This yeah. is just old stuff too. Yes. 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 Well, so up Gen V. I just got into. Dude, that. I just watched. I bunched. I binged I saw, all three episodes yesterday. Oh yeah, I saw the first two in the theater. Um, so we're going to end on that note. Okay. So okay. We'll talk about so, that next episode. Yeah. Uh, Comics, collectibles, and coffee. You're right. Yeah, Check you us out. Comics, collectibles, and coffees. When I can correct. Grand Band collectibles. You know, it, and it's uh, good stuff coming out. So on the next episode, uh, check out. We're going to talk some about the yeah. stuff you got going on. So thank you for joining us. And there you have it, folks. This has been Comics, Collectibles, and Cafecito. You crazy kids. Obey all robots.